really interesting that the PBS NewsHour are doing an article in regards to the Earth's poles and asking, are the Earth's poles about to flip? Now, this article was published on the 23rd of November, 2013. Now, before we go down the doomtard road, let's just be clear that we're talking about the Earth's magnetic poles, okay? Not the actual North and South Pole uh, actually flipping over, you know, and creating absolute mayhem and destruction across our planet. Uh, I'm not saying that if the magnetic poles flip, there won't be some um, effects felt on our planet, but it's not what a lot of people think when they're talking about the Earth's poles flipping. And this is once again this psyop that's been put out there. So that whenever anyone hears about a pole flip, it's all it's automatically about death and destruction and, you know, no, okay? Um, it's the magnetic poles are going to flip. And it happens a lot, you know? When you look at how long we've been here, you know, and this is for people that have moved beyond their programming of thinking we've only been here 5,000, 10,000. I mean, we've been here as long as the planet, okay? And this is why they're now uncovering all of these artifacts. I think I've seen about four different articles in the last two days of newly unearthed artifacts showing that our civilization is way older than what they're saying. And this is because, once again, they can't keep hiding the truth. And so there's no need to fear about this stuff, you know. The, the Earth's poles are about to flip, perhaps. Um, they think this because... Um, the magnetosphere is weakening so much but really you know the magnetosphere is weakening because it's letting the ether in okay it's letting the cosmic rays in it's letting all the um good stuff in all right mother earth knows that okay we're at the end of the cycle and she's dropping her shields now letting this good stuff in so there's no need to worry about this stuff you know and if you've done the work and you're where you should be because you've allowed your heart to illuminate your path then there's no need to fear this stuff and and find it um, really confronting, you know, because I can only imagine that the people that attack me and abuse me are so confronted by the information, they just cannot handle it. It's like their little tiny pea brains go into overload and they just explode with ignorance just directed at anybody that is shaking them out of their delusion, you know, and I don't even care. I mean, if people don't like the information I bring, just go away and find your information elsewhere. <laughs> I don't get it why people do this. And, I, you know, well, actually I do. It's because they lack. They are lacking. And the only way they feel good about themselves is when they go out, they set out to attack people. You know, when I have a go at someone, it's normally in response to someone having a go at me you know, and attacking me. I just won't accept people attacking me ever. So, you know, if people are offended that I will fire back at someone uh, really heavily, you know, I'll bring out the heavy artillery if I have to, um, then seriously, you, you probably would be best off going and finding your information elsewhere because, you know, I will, you know, give as good as I get, you know, and so if people want to abuse me, then, you know, just expect it back, you know. So... As I'm saying, when I bring these articles, if you find them confrontational to you because you're in fear, don't blame me. Just go, okay, I don't want to read that. I'm just going to go and look at squirrel videos. All right? And just ignore anything to do with earth changes or comet ison. Pretty simple, really. But for the rest of us that are actually, you know, interested in what's going on because uh, we're all a part of this, um, you know, I'll continue doing these articles and bringing this information um, to your attention guys because I know that there are lots of people out there that are interested in what's going on and they're sick of hearing the same old rhetoric and bullshit from the agency, from the establishment because we're actually waking up now and their bullshit ain't cutting it anymore. So we're looking for answers. And so um, that's who I do these articles for. So for you guys that just want to attack me and call me names or abuse or whatever else it is that, you know, gets you off and makes you feel like a bigger person, then just seriously go and impress somebody else uh, with your self-perceived intelligence um, on another channel and uh, just leave us be. But um, to everybody else out there, 
I will link this article underneath and you can check it out. But uh, yeah, so they're obviously still very concerned with the weakening magnetosphere and that's why they're now having to, you know, put these articles out and explain it away as perhaps we're going through a magnetic pole flip. And as I said, maybe, maybe we are. Maybe though it just does continue to be that our magnetosphere weakens and allows in more ether and more of the cosmic rays and more of the good stuff. All right, guys, well, I'll leave it there. And as always, peace out.